What's good, y'all? The White Tiger coming at you. Brand new world. The server had some problems again, so we had to do some modifications again. So, ultimately, we got down to about 260 mods or so. But, uh, still chugging along, just taking my time and getting back to the swing of things. So, this is just basically going to be a server world tour uh, episode today. Um, is that? Oh, that was a failed experiment. That's right. Uh, I'm sitting here showing silly things. All right, so this is spawn house. Generally, you spawn right right up there on the mountain, and you're in this lovely lavender field. And man, this is just the greatest place to ever because I really love purple. And unfortunately, it was in spawn, so we couldn't really stay in spawn because of lag issues and chunks stand loading and crap like that uh, this here was a tree farm that uh, Pulin actually put together however since a new update from thermal expansion which uh, has we now have a mod called thermal dynamics which actually has the item conduits and uh, stuff from thermal expansion not just ender IO and stuff uh, they might be something else different I've done forgot redstone so, yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, fluid duct. Flux duct, okay, ducks, that's right. Damn ducks. <laughs> Redstone duct. That don't make sense. <laughs> Y'all can really tell I've been off lately. I, I just hadn't been really in the mood to really record or anything. If I, I don't feel like if I'm in the mood that I really shouldn't record because I just feel like I'm taking away instead of just, you know, it's quality not quantity you know but anyways these are these fluid ducts and stuff from new thermal expansion 1710 mod and yeah this one killed our autonomous activators because now they require they require power and that just sucks and also we'll show you something else in a minute in our new base but there's our tinker smell tree with some heads um, <laughs> redstone clocks did used to go up here but uh, we've since taken them down uh, and all this is just smooth oval from geostrata got a little uh, creeper statue thing uh, from a gravestone yeah and we got our infinite bread chest which I'll get to that as well uh, standard machines alloy smelter from ender IO induction smelter from you know, thermal expansion, whatever Walia says up there. Sag mill. Uh, I've since replaced this with the Viber capacitor bank. It used to, the whole battery used to extend throughout most of this floor. As you can see down here, all that's cobbled up now and everything, but uh, yeah, it used to extend a lot farther, a lot bigger. Uh, our AE2 uh, growing things. Oh, uh, this, that's right, over here used to be uh, another processing part, but that. Uh, that's been since moved to the new base. Um, dimension, the mining world, um, and then another mine that we kind of start out with down there. We never really got around to your pulverizer. Um, and this is a yeah furnace generator. Uh, the reservoir from Ender IO. Sorry about the loud Star Trek doors, but yeah. Anyways, um, uh, the Sterling generator. Something like that, this combustion generator, whatever. It's oh, it's actually making oh crap. Up oh, no, no, there it went. <laughs> but usually it doesn't really ever make any type of power and then keep up with or anything or whatever. Uh I'm just rambling here, y'all. Apologies. Uh compressed chest from practicalities. I was just testing around messing with. Um it used to be a weather uh something or another that would stow off. Yeah, there it is. Uh Underneath this quite clear glass. Oh no! Crud. Weather deflector. It helps stow away the tornadoes because we got the weather mod from uh, Koros, or however you pronounce his name. But he's the one that made zombie uh, awareness? Yeah, that's what it was. Anyways, uh, various metallurgy ingots. Don't know why I'm showing you that. Project D table, transmutation table. A whole bunch of good stuff in there uh, this everybody's probably wondering about it's like why are you keep passing that I want to see what that is well this is the Stargate we have a Stargate mod and oh yeah that's right 
Oh, my damn levels are being sapped. I forgot about that. Yeah, stay back away from the gate when it's rotating. Because this thing, the... Oh, good gosh. I done forgot what the horizon, event horizon, will kill you. Now, the event horizon is this one I'm about to show you. RV3 VR9SA. Why do we have this? Just because we do. <laughs> we, I, I love Sarger Gate. Uh, a couple other people do too, so that's our new address, a uh, new base address. By the way, that's a, oh, well, that's a door open. Uh, another portal, if you haven't guessed yet. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we weren't standing in front of it, so it didn't kill us, but, um, we got a small upstairs. I forgot to show you the upstairs. Uh, do 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 do. We'll go up there right quick. Twilight Forest portal. Do 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 do. I don't think there was anything. No, okay. Nothing there, nothing there. Do 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 do. do. Little parts. T no, tool station, whatever. Do 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 do. Uh, Lazy Old Dalton came up here and just made this because he thought we were going to settle in up here first. So he was going to make like big, huge, giant castles and stuff. And yeah. The experiment was a failure. Anyways, here's our infinite bread farm. And I still have yet to move out the creative energy cell. All this was actually made, believe it or not, within uh, survival. I just had to replace that creative energy cell because I just it gave power and I hate having to deal with power as y'all can tell because I used to get big reactors and damn that's a lot of seeds and a lot of damn wheat <laughs> but anyways uh thanks to this automatic automatic crafting table from tube stuff that's what gives us our bread and um if you're wondering why these things are giving off little effects, things, or whatever, it's because of these fertilized dirt from random things. Uh, I also have the emerald upgrades from uh, for both of these. My factory reloaded the planter and the harvester and stuff. But uh, yeah. Anyway, so it gets processed into bread. The bread gets dumped into the redstone furnace. It gets toasted up. And free toast, unlimited. Hot diggity. <laughs> you can't beat that. You just can't. Not with a stick. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh yeah, I've been eating on these tacos. So spicy it makes you immune to fire is what the description says. So. Yeah, fire resistance. Uh, sludge is doing alright. Yeah, look at that. That is so beautiful. I mean, just gorgeous purple trees and flowers and I don't know. Some people don't like purple. A lot of people don't like purple. But to me, it's just wow, so pretty. Yeah, a statue face with one eye missing out of it. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, there's another thing I wanted to show y'all right quick before we get on. This, like I said, is just not really a episode. Look at that. That is such an OP sword. Oh, I love it. I don't even have to deal with Enderman no more. Ah, uh, ha ha ha. This red Qatar or whatever, I've added withering to it, but uh, if you charge it up with EMC and hit the right click button, it'll kill entity or mobs. Well, it's actually entities, any type of mobs, passive or aggressive, within so many blocks of you. Haha. <laughs> that is so OP, but I love it. I don't care. Alright, so that's basically the spawn area that's oh yeah and this other thing there's a there's a zelda dungeon that we finally raided uh there's doom i mean not doom like uh roguelite dungeon we do have doom like dungeons too but as for later on and these mofos ow see those things those things are just oh, i hate those things um some sort of pylon thing or whatever let's see what, what it says crystal pylon okay 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 Anyways, uh, I hate those things, and every time I, every chance I can, I try to get them with uh, matter transporters and just move the damn things. <laughs> anyways, if you're wondering what's up with all these torches, that's because of my daughter. Um, if you haven't seen a previous video I've had recently uh, put up, I put up uh, a video I made with my three-year-old daughter, who just has been introduced to vanilla Minecraft and 
you know, saw Daddy's Minecraft. She said, oh, I want to play with Daddy's Minecraft. And I was just putting together a video that uh, I saw. I thought it was very cute of her. Oh, yeah, I can walk on water. Uh, the reason that is, and no, I'm not the savior of the world. Uh, just have these gym boots on. I'm, believe it or not, I actually went through all this Project E stuff and got all this stuff legitimately. Protection one, protection one, okay. Anyways, uh, I kind of want to just basically get back to where I was before the world got corrupted. I forget, even up to now what happened. Um, oh yeah, the reason I wanted to start over. Uh, it, apparently when we added mods, my stupid self didn't realize that world gen mods required the world to be genned and they're not always retroactive. So I just wanted to start the world over, you know, uh, just to, <sighs> dang, I, just, I lost my train of thought on that, good God. I just wanted to start the world over so I could get all the world gen features of all the other mods that we've added in or whatever, so. Alright, that's enough, we gotta go back to, I'm so, <laughs> I love this sword, it's just so OP, just go around killing random things real quick. <laughs> Don't even have to do anything, just right click and boom, they're dead. <laughs> now, for other things, I mean, it only goes up to like certain attack hit points. After that, then. Oh no, not the fuel. Um, after that, then you're on. You gotta keep hitting it. B3, the right click button, I mean, for the sword. To kill bigger monsters. Whatever. I'm just rambling on here, I'm sorry. But. Yeah, this is sort of like an apology episode. Like, I apologize I haven't been around. I apologize I haven't been recording or anything. I'd really like to get more on the TriCraft server and then, you know, of course get on this server here as well and just, you know, mess around, just do whatever. But anyways, this is our new vase. This is a tree type, tree style vase. Um... We'll get to that in a minute, but, uh, we've, you know, lazy old dog found this big, huge crater and just decided to build a house floating in the middle of it. I was like, well, that don't look right. I mean, we just gotta have something to it. So, initially, we had this big, huge twilight tree, you know, the giant redwoods or whatever. Anyways, it was a tall, tall tree, and it was big and huge and hollow, and everything was perfect and right with the world, because it had a nice big elevator and everything. And then I cut it down because of this uh, same sword that I'm sitting here saying, oh, it's so gravy, because, yeah, deforesting mode. This will cut down every single piece of wood within, like, oh my gosh. And I cut, like, pretty much the whole entire tree down. I mean, as big as it was and everything, I cut it down. See, you know, I even got parts of this tree, as you can tell, from trying to clean up the rest of the old tree. But anyways, so let's get on with the tour. Uh, go ahead and just knock this out of the way. This was a recreation of a, a wither skeleton trap that I saw in another video of uh, what our WTF geeks... Uh, but instead of the instead of double E, it's uh, double threes. But anyways, he made this, and the only difference is this block here, autonomous activator, used to be some sort of draconic evolution block where it was just like a one-hit kill thing. So obviously, I don't have that. So I'm probably just gonna have to add a ceiling part onto it with some spikes or something, and just kind of modify this trap. But We'll get to that when we get to that, because I gotta get weather skull heads and yeah. Anyway, so um, on with the show after I kill all these fools. Ha ha ha! That's so awesome. This is just the most OP sword there ever was. It was a new update of Project E. Um, I believe Mo's Intel was the original. Uh, author of Project E, and then uh, he or she, they gave up on it, and just uh, somebody else decided to take over it, so they just went along with it. I don't know why, I just decided to come down here first. That's a moron move. I'm such a moron. Whatever. Anyways, this is the one I meant to come into. Up, 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 up. 
if I can not jump up it. Alright, floor A2, please. Anyways, the, uh, this used to be out a lot wider, and it wasn't just like a one shaft elevator or whatever. It used to be real wide and whatever. It's was pretty cool. <laughs> Molo walruses from extra cells. <laughs> Alright, um, <clears throat> uh, this is Lazy Old Dog's uh, side of the fort. Um, his ender chest, obviously. Uh, his little processing. Well, we've been trying to make it to where we can process stuff into EMC and, you know, store it and, you know, just have materials on it as EMC instead. And then everything else that's, you know, metallurgy or, or iron ore. What the hell? Well, damn. Okay, so we are, apparently we've been screwing up on that still. <laughs> well, whatever. Anyways, you get the idea. We're just trying to pump as much stuff through processing and uh, fashioning into ingots as much as possible so that way we can all just dump it into EMC basically but yeah so that's his side here's my side over here now I made mine a little bit more compact but I'm still not happy with this I can come up with a better solution I've just been we've only been mainly using Ender IO because that's what we can use on uh, Project E because that, like most of the Ender IO stuff can actually be used with Project E which I think is like totally badass, but I but well, I'll screw that up. Item item conduit. What what what, what, what happened? Where did my item conduit go? What? Oh no! I think it's because I changed my name again. I bet you. Oh, oh this is that's what's going on because changed my name now I don't have see what happened was I had changed my name to the White Tigger because Mountain Dew Mania said that every time she saw my name the White Tiger she always thought of the White Tigger and if you actually see the thumbnail of the episode where my uh, daughter uh, you know cameoed whatever uh, you'll see the name on, on it that she was in my character she was the White Tigger um but actually, she was morphed into my character. She didn't actually have my character. But, uh, yeah, here's our uh, big reactor. I keep getting sidetracked. Um, it, yeah, that's right. The item conduits stuff. Oh, I get so sidetracked. Uh, that's the reason, another reason why I haven't been really doing videos either is because I get continuously sidetracked. And uh, there's family, you know, I've, I've cons I have to consider. And, having to, you know, just really be there for them here lately. It's been kind of a weird time, so, yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, Ender IO stuff, just trust me, it's, it's works for Project E now. And it used not, but now it does. Osmium compressor for me mechanism. You can see Whalia, you can read. Um, yeah, little small, tiny AE stuff. I'm finally getting into AE a little bit, but Pulin just kind of gave me the oomph that I need. Um, how much power do we have in this thing? Oh, 54 million have fallen. We gotta turn the sucker back on. Alright, let's see what kind of fuel we got going on. Okay, we got 10 ingots of plutonium still. Okay, and a full thing of... Okay. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Eulorium is now... Uh, well, it was... It has EMC value, anyways. Um, here, I'll just prove it to you there. Haha. -ha. Anyways, um, we had to. That was another thing. We had to take out Aethercraft because it was causing the connection to the internet. I mean, internet to the server for other people it was just very, very daunting, and it, uh, it was not only that, but it was other f factors as well that I had to get rid of. Um, well, that was quick. But anyways, um, those other mods I just really had to get rid of and, you know, get going. Uh, so, yeah. I've, I done lost my thought. Oh, there's all my... Okay, okay, there's all my a XP stuff. Uh, Eddie Magpie 
taught me this, which you probably, I think he said he learned from four out scoop, but uh, emeralds, free emeralds, just by putting a villager on top of a hopper and dumping it out into a chest. Now, this guy is called Lucky Moron, and the reason he's called Lucky Moron is because this moron, he came from a lucky block, and he spawned, and he did something like he fell out into lava or something like that and then he died and gravestones updated so generally apparently when you die you can grab their corpses and then take their corpses and bring them back to life I brought only him back to life because I have yet to find a gravestones uh, catacombs or whatever but I just wanted to test and see if I could actually bring him back to life and I did so I thought that was really cool so I've got to go find some catacombs and graves to make an actual bone altar altar whatever altar from the gravestones to resurrect those guys but I thought that was just really neat so but yeah um okay so I told you about that I told you about all that the diamond chest and all that good stuff. Um, oh yeah, we have uh, players returning. Um, Codebender had made a comeback. I just don't know if he was able to actually get to around to making a base, but uh, C. Sheldon 69 has made a comeback as well. And this is his little island. We'll get to everything else eventually, I promise, in this episode. But Deco Craft, gotta love that. Night statues like that. That's just ba. All right, now watch this. This is this is some cool stuff. Okay, I like that candle on the wall. I like that. Check this out. Okay, uh, paper lantern. Okay, real nice and Japanese and stuff. But look at this. A fucking um, excuse me, a freaking water closet, complete with toilet water decorations and everything. So now you're a Minecraft. <laughs> ah, you can't see it. Ah, well. I'm supposed to be able to jump on that thing because I've done it before. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I'm a guy, so of course toilet humor is my thing, right? <laughs> All right, but anyways, uh, moving along. Uh, okay, armor stand. I see. I like hit this bed. It's even though it's from Deco Craft, that's just really cool and it glitches out. That's weird, but. Lava lamp lime. Yeah, lava lamp from Minecraft. Also, uh, oh, I don't think the table might be like double as a chest or something. That would have been cool. Uh, BR Dave. Okay. Ship in a bottle. Yeah. Y'all can read too. I know. I know. I know. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Getting out here. And. Yes. Okay, so, Ultimate Energy Cube, this is his little me mechanism thing, uh, that's, I guess, pretty much it for his base, but I just wanted to show, oh yeah, and the solar panels, but I just wanted to show you the, the water closet, I thought that was cool. Uh, this is Xavier, well, I don't know if it's, uh, ex-Ninja Killer thing it's my nephews uh he finally we we're finally able to get him on the server and uh so yeah he's like real happy and he's been doing a lot of different things well that was really what well, i better go 40 blocks at least but anyways yeah, X Ninja Killer or X Killer Ninja or something like that. I think it's X Ninja Killer. What E X Ninja Killer? Yeah. Ah. Okay. There we go. All right. So there's his base. Um, C Sheldon's. And then this looks suspicious over here. <laughs> suspicious is all get out. Now, you can't see it because it doesn't retract right, but he's actually retracting four different directions. And there's a little elevator over there. And this is going to be the future helipad or... Uh, no, this is for... Um, oh, this is this is for... Oh! Yeah, I keep forgetting that Dago Void monster scares the crap out of me every time, but... Uh, this is for Archimedes' ships, that's what I meant to say. Of course, you saw him Whaley at the top there. But, 
Yeah, there's a void monster that lives underneath the bedrock, and it makes all sorts of scary-ass noises. And Yeah, I know it's a video game, I know it's a block video game, but it still freaks me out for some reason, so piss off. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm not waiting around for this elevator, because I was going to go down it. But yeah, anyways, this is the one where I came out at the... Uh, oops. Yeah, the base of our base. The base of our base. Um, that, that. Oh yeah, my baby, my baby's uh, little castle swat. I'm oh, not swarry, but swinky pad. Whatever. I don't know. I'm just making crap up as I go along. Can't you tell? <laughs> if you haven't been able to by now, there's something wrong here. All right. Lots of lag there. That's obviously a given, closing those doors like that, but, yeah, check this place out. I've got to find this light blue stained glass fence in real life. That's cool. I like that a lot. Lazy old dog made this for her, little big, tiny, big reactor. Uh, full of energy. Apparently... And yeah, I mean, I really like this place. He did a good job on it, I think. Here's the elevator over here. No, oh, go, go, go. No, move, 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 move. Whew. Kept hitting the daggum inventory key like a moron. Alrighty then. Uh, nice, wide, open, spacious area here. She has yet to really move in or get anything done. Poor girl. That was another thing. Uh, she changed jobs, my wife did, and uh, uh, it's been real hectic because she was used to like part-time hours and having to work two different jobs, working part-time hours in two different jobs, and now suddenly she's working full-time, you know, I mean, she, and it ain't no big thing for most of us workers out there, but she just started the workforce like a year or two. Well, it's been a little bit longer than that, but uh, yeah, she's just still kind of getting used to the full-time thing and uh, getting used to sleeping habits and this and that and the other. But I promise you, whenever she gets going right and everything, I'll start making more videos. Uh, yeah, as soon as we get our bearings straight and whatnot. But oh, that's one of them obelisk things from Thomcraft. Cool. I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted. I'm sorry. I, I sit there and say that and apologize, Mike. Go right up to him. Holy hell. Holy sh... That was scary. Well, whatever. Anyways, um... Yeah, those thick, the effing pylons are from Chromatic Craft. It's part of Reika's mods. Now, we had Rotary Craft and Reactor Craft in here. But another reason, due to lag issues and stuff like that, we just found it would be best to just remove it altogether. Well, not altogether, but electric craft and reactor craft and rotary craft, because none of us are, let's just face it, none of us on the server are really smart enough to actually work those mods. I mean, let's face it, we're just really not that smart. <laughs> but, uh... Anyways, we got so many f other freaking mods to choose from. I mean, it's, ain't no big thing. But a chicken wang. Ah, that rhymed. But anyways, this is my daughter's vase. And obviously, she didn't build it, but uh, my father-in-law just wanted to make her a nice big old tower with a water slide, because that's what she asked for. And a nice big old huge open area where she can just sit there and destroy or build or whatever. And he made damn sure that mobs weren't going to come up here. He had that one and then the Magnum Torch from Extra Utilities and this Aversion Obelisk, which supposedly keeps mobs away. Um, which we were testing out these soul vials, figuring out how the hell those all worked and everything. And stuff, and good stuff, and bad stuff, and whatever stuff. But, uh,. Oh yeah, that's right. I can just walk on the water and just walk all the way down. But yeah, this all used to be like wooded area. Like all this was just nothing but trees, 
all this area and a few swipes of this sword and it was just this as you see now but uh, uh should I well yeah let's just let's go ahead and cut this down just to show you the power the awesome power of the deforesting mode look at that one swipe Pew. God. that's cool uh, remnants of a tornado if you see random ass clouds everywhere then you know there was a tornado that had come through not too long ago uh yeah there's that bar barricade bar whatever it got torn to hell because of the <laughs> of one of the tornadoes as you can see it got stacked up how it got stacked up one right on top of the other like that I don't know don't ask me but yeah it tore ass through all that shit you see all that yeah might as well just go ahead and level these out too while I'm here look at that that is so cool I don't care who you are that is just awesome but anyways OP you bitch Ow. Yes. Uh, always have to show people what's or show things what's up. Uh, yeah, this is one of the ones we took the pylons down from. It's pissed at us. Look at this. Man, it attacks us every single time now. Just because we took its little thing down. It was like, F you, man, you kept hitting us every single time. Chuck was squashed by a falling block. I don't know, I guess that's about it, really. Um, that's really cool uh, see through effects. Haha. <laughs> but yeah, really, there's not much else going on. But if you see a random helicopter or a random airplane just crashed in the middle of a mountain or something yeah that's because the kids I say the kids because it's not only my nephew but my niece and nephew both sit there and share the account together and play and whatnot but I don't know I think that's about really it oh I forgot Mr. Peyton's base that's back at spawn but um, really I've ever since he's gotten on the TriCraft server um, he's kind of preferred to play on it. I don't blame him because it's a lot less mods and his computer can take it. And plus, for some reason, he's trying to get, uh, uh, too many freaking mods to work on his new Apple laptop that he got, and he just can't for some reason. But, anywho, uh, till next time, this is the White Tiger, and, uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can't lessen... Uh, videos by just kind of lessening introductions and exits and stuff like that so uh, let me let me know what you think guys and remember whatever you do don't like my videos they suck you know they suck I know they suck they suck alright y'all take it easy